Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to be doing a video on what to pack in your Disney park bag during those hot summer months. I actually made a video on what to pack during the winter months. If you want to check out that video, I will put a link right up here. Now, unlike the winter months, the summer months can get very hot and sticky and you also have to contend with those afternoon rain showers. So today I'm just going to share with you what I like to bring to the parks to stay cool and have have the most enjoyable day ever. Now all the products I'm going to talk about today in my video, I'll put the links in the description box down below for anyone looking to buy them. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is what kind of day bag you should be bringing to the parks. Now there's a lot of different options. Personally, I like to bring a small camping day bag. What I like about this is that it's super lightweight. It's made of thin materials, so it really doesn't weigh down on your back. And when it's really hot and sticky and humid, it's just nice to have something lightweight touching your back instead of a heavy backpack. Another reason why I like this one is that it's small and compact, but it's big enough to carry everything I need for a day in the park. Now, if you want another alternative to a backpack like this, you could look into bringing a sling bag or a small purse. I know that days that I'm doing half days in the park, I like to bring a fanny pack like this instead. This is big enough to carry what I need for the day, and that way I don't have anything on my back weighing me down and making me hotter than I have to be. Now, when I'm doing a full day in the park, I usually opt for a backpack just because it has a bottle holder and you do want to bring a refillable water bottles inside those parks. You'll be able to uh, fill this up at any kiosk and any quick service restaurant. They have ice water throughout the park and that way you can stay hydrated and avoid a heat stroke. The next thing I suggest bringing is a sun hat. You definitely want a hat to protect you from the sun. Another reason I like to bring a hat is that if it starts raining, I usually put this on and it keeps the rain away from my face and it protects my hair. Another must is sunscreen. You definitely need to apply sunscreen throughout the day. You can burn really quickly in the Florida sun. Now I like to bring a full bottle of sunscreen like this and I also like to carry a little sun stick like this. A sun stick is basically sunscreen in a stick form. It's super easy to apply and it's small and compact so it's easy to throw into my bag. Now the next thing you're going to want to bring are your sunglasses. I've broken and lost so many pairs of sunglasses at Disney so I highly recommend that you just get yourself a cheap pair that way if you lose these or break them you won't be crying yourself to sleep at night. These I actually got on Amazon. They're from the company Wow Sun. I actually got two pairs for $15 which was a great deal. I've been traveling with them quite a bit and they're one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. Another thing I like to carry with me is an anti-chafing stick. This is basically a glide stick. It's product that you put all over your skin, wherever you think your, your skin is gonna rub up on something. This will protect it from chafing and it also protects against blisters. I usually often use this around my feet, wherever my straps or my shoes touch my feet. That way it prevents blisters and it just makes for a more pleasant day overall. Another thing I always bring to the parks is a couple of these blister band-aids. And if you do end up developing a blister during the day, you can put one of these on. It's like a second skin and it just protects your foot from hurting. So it's always great to have a couple of these in your backpack. You can just slap one of these on and it's instant relief. Now another thing I like to carry on me when I go to the parks is medication. So I usually like to bring a little pill box like this and I fill it with anti-nausea medication, some ibuprofen in case I get a headache. And that way, if I do start feeling ill, I can take the medication right away. Now the next thing you're gonna need is hand sanitizer. You definitely wanna bring some along. Now I like to either bring a little bottle of hand sanitizer like this, or another option is to bring these hand sanitizing wipes. Why I like these is that they're individually packed so they don't dry out. I usually carry four or five of these to the park. That way I can wipe my hands with them, but I can also use them to clean any surface that I'm gonna eat on. So if I arrive at a table and it's dirty, 
dirty, I can pull out one of these wipes and just wipe down the table really quickly. Another thing I like to carry with me are these Shout Wipe and Go Instant Stain Removers. Basically, they're little wipes that have detergent in them. So if you drop food or liquid on yourself, at least you can take one of these out and clean the stain away really easily. Now, another thing you're gonna have to think about is how to cool off when it just gets unbearably hot in those parks. Now, I highly suggest these cooling towels. Cooling towels are amazing because all you have to do is wet them and you can put this around your neck and to cover your shoulders and it does a really great job at cooling you off quickly. So I highly suggest investing in these. They're really inexpensive and I use these a lot. Now I like to carry them in a little Ziploc like this. So if I don't want to wear this anymore and it's wet, you just throw this into your Ziploc and that way it doesn't wet the rest of your stuff in your backpack. Now another thing that you could maybe invest in is a little tiny fan. These little handheld fans do a really great job at cooling you off when you're waiting in line. This one comes with its own little stand so you can put it down on a table. This one has three speeds and it does a really good job at cooling you off during those hot days. Another option is also to look at a neck fan. You can just wear this around your neck and it will blow cold air on your face uh, while keeping your hands free. Another thing I like to bring is a hair tie. It gets really hot and it's just really nice to tie back your hair during those hot afternoons. The next thing I always bring to the parks are a couple of rain ponchos. You definitely want to have these in your bag. Summer months bring those afternoon thunder showers. So you want to make sure that you have something that you can cover yourself up with and not get completely soaked. The next thing I like to bring is a small travel umbrella. This is great because it's super compact. So you can throw this into your backpack without it taking too much room. This one comes with its own little pouch. So it's easy to travel with. And this opens up as a full sized umbrella. So it's always practical to have, especially on a rainy day. It's just much more comfortable to travel with. The next thing I always pack is a small lightweight cardigan. Inside those restaurants and inside the rides, uh, the air conditioning is blasting and it can be quite chilly. So I like to pack a little cardigan like this, super lightweight. That way, if I do get cold, I can pull this out and enjoy my afternoon meal. The next thing I like to bring are snacks. I definitely like to bring a protein bar like this just to hold me off in between meals and it helps me save a little bit of money inside those parks. You'll also want to think about bringing gum. Disney does not sell gum anywhere on the Disney property because they don't want uh, gum stuck on all their floors. Make sure that you buy this and bring it with you to those parks. The next thing that goes into my bag is my small little wallet. Uh, I always make sure to have one piece of ID with me. You also want to bring either a credit card or uh, some cash to pay for some food. And if you do have any Disney gift cards, you can bring them along and pretty much buy everything inside the park. Another thing that you're going to need to bring to the parks is your phone. Not only is a phone practical because you can use this to take pictures and selfies and to film, but you should bring your phone and download the My Disney Experience on it. What's fun is that if you have any reservations, they will be linked onto My Disney Experience and you can see your whole schedule in your phone. There's also maps of every theme park and you're going to see all the wait times for all the rides. Now, another thing you're going to want to bring is an external power bank. If you're using your phone with the app, it drains the phone quite quickly and you're going to want to recharge your phone easily. I personally like this one from the company Jetpack. And what's fun about this one is that it's a wireless charging bank. So this one is magnetic and it basically sticks on the back of your phone like this. And my phone is charging right now, but I can still use it and I don't have any wires to contend with. Now, another thing I like to bring is this little handheld tripod with a phone adapter on the top. I love to take pictures and to film inside those parks and this just makes it so much easier to hold. You can screw your phone on into this and it gives you a better grip. And if you do want to take pictures or film the fireworks, you can open up this tripod 
set this on a trash can and that way uh, you won't have any blurry footage. Now a lot of people like to buy Mickey ears when they're at Disney. A real pair of Mickey ears like this can cost up to $35 to $40. So uh, something I always suggest to anybody who's visiting Disney for the first time, I would say invest in a cheap pair of Mickey ears like this. I bought these on Amazon and I got both of these for around $20. So a great idea to save money, order them ahead of time and just bring them with you when you're visiting the parks. All right guys, so those are all the things I like to pack in my Disney park bag. Let me know if you have any other ideas that you'd like to share with my viewers. Please share them in the comments below. It always helps to have some feedback. If you did enjoy the content of this video, I'd really appreciate if you take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Happy travels. Bye.